post operatively uh, when these patients reach icu they are on ventilator usually we've had these patients on very low fio2s in the range of 30 to 40% most of the time they are on some vasopressors and fluid antibiotics immunosuppression and other supportive measures the post of course depends on how these lungs behave if there is no uh, primary graft disease dysfunction then maybe in about 48 to 72 hours the patient uh, can be gradually weaned off the ventilatory support in case the lungs develop primary graft dysfunction this process may get delayed also so average in about 3 to 5 days time patients are taken off ventilator gradually from ventilator to cpap and then oxygen support uh, chest tubes are also managed accordingly in about 48 hours time initially rise tube feed is started and then as the patients are out of the bed and are able to eat they're gradually shifted to oral feeds so a typical uneventful recovery patient will stay in the icu for about a week or so and thereafter patient will be in a position to be shifted to the ward the biggest problem in these patients is weakness of the chest muscles because their chest and other muscles become very atrophic because of the prolonged disease course before the transplant and that is the major challenge to rebuild the chest muscle and arm and leg and abdominal muscle strength encourage them to eat look after their psychological problems also because they've been sick for so long and give them that confidence that now you have new lungs it's a new breath of life which you have and gradually over a period of few weeks they learn to live this new life with the new lungs and by which time they are off oxygen and start moving going up and down stairs and returning to normal life of course immunosuppression needs to be continued